out. So we would like we would like to have young researcher teams uh, to develop innovative concepts for digital health. Um, uh, the, for the digital health uh, domain. Uh, just to let you know, all the information you will hear today, um, you will find on our website as well. You will find, uh, you see the link here at our slide. Uh, go to our webpage. There's already, uh, there's as well a button on the front page, uh, on the homepage, uh, which, which directly leads you to, to all the information about this idea competition we are now um, Presenting. So, but the main goal is actually that the young researcher teams should work together with experts by experience with patients with cardiovascular disease or lived experience with the cardiovascular disease. So that makes it unique. And that is what is, uh, the competition is about. And of course, you can win some prize money as well. Uh, uh, another important issue is that this um, on uh, digital health idea competition will be totally run online. Uh, of course, teams could meet locally as well um, if they want to, but uh, the exchange with the patient experts will take place uh, online. All the, the supporting measures um, uh, will take place uh, online. Uh, there will be mentoring sessions, uh, and of course, the final uh, event will then be online as well. Uh, you will hear a, a bit later about um, the timeline. So please be aware it's actually an online competition and that uh, makes it possible that you get involved. Yeah, I would say from nearly around the world. If you want to join, you can even mix up um, uh, cross, cross border, cross uh, oceans or whatever you want uh, to, to do and, and with, he, with whom you want to team up here. Here you can see uh, the timeline. Um, uh, today we are actually kicking off uh, this idea competition. Uh, the, the registration is already open for some weeks. Um, and um, after this, uh, the period of, of working on the ideas and the concept should actually start and teams should form, should uh, yeah, brainstorm, uh, involve the patient experts. Um, and the experts by experience. Um, we have set up or are planning to, we call it check up, uh, check in meetings um, or with, with mentors. So this is actually an, uh, op these are optional meetings. You can team up with, with a group of mentors we have um, been organizing uh, for this idea competition. So these are not just um, patient experts, these are health, uh, di digital health experts as well, psychologists, um, medical experts who will be around in these two sessions. And uh, yeah, actually, it's about discussing your first ideas, asking questions, maybe presenting already first uh, concepts, getting feedback. Um, that's what these two meetings are about. And as you might be aware of already, we keep uh, the, the competition open for some weeks, um, more or less six weeks. Uh, and we have set a, a, a submission deadline uh, with the 15th of January um, at uh, midnight then. So we ask you to submit your proposals and uh, up to then. Uh, yeah, and how is that followed up? Um, in February, a jury voting will take place um, and uh, we plan for a, a, a final event, an award ceremony in March. Then uh, it will be in the afternoon. Uh, we might then maybe do the, the, the date or we will uh, announce that later. And what we will offer as well to the, to the winner teams is that we have follow-up workshops with them to further elaborate uh, the ideas and see how they can be brought uh, further um, and forward. Um, these uh, workshops will then take place in, in the second quarter of the year 2023. Um, that was the timeline so far, and now I will hand over to Mathieu, giving a, more, a bit more background on, on Teams, and it's your floor now, Mathieu. Thank you. <laughs> um, exactly. So a little bit just on uh, who can take part um, for this competition. Um, so uh, there should be teams consisting of three to eight people in total, so minimum three and maximum of eight. And the composition is very important because of course there should be at least one uh, patient, so uh, a expert by experience with a cardiovascular condition, um, but you are of course like free to include others as well. And um, basically then there should be at least uh, then young researchers. So the minimum team would be, for example, one patient 
and two young researchers. And what do we mean by that? It's either students from bachelor's or master's programs, can be pre-docs, or if you're within five years of your PhD. And uh, just a disclaimer for um, people from the uh, Institute of Digital Health and Prevention, uh, there cannot be like an entire team of researchers only composed of uh, people from this institute. However, you are still allowed to take part if uh, you do not make up more than 50% of the entire team. And of course, we strongly encourage interdisciplinary teams um, to be formed. Um, yeah, exactly. And I think with that, uh, we will go into the topics, um, you know, like what the challenges can be about. And I think Andy will uh, again say yes. a bit so about when that. You, when you go to the website, you will already see the three topics, um, or, or we, we set actually two topics and then one more open call uh, for this digital health competition. So um, we um, set the topic one with the title how or with the question how to create engaged and engaging heart healthy communities with the help of smart digital tools. There will be another specific topic which is uh, called or phrased around the question how can digital tools support approaches to overcoming the prevention paradox within the cardiovascular domain. And as I have said already, there is a, an, an open call as well, which uh, if you have a more general approach to this domain, um, the question would be how can challenges in the cardiovascular domain be augmented by digital solutions in general? So these are the topics we ask for submissions and uh, for ideas and concepts. And uh, the next slides give a bit more insights what we are actually, uh, what we understand by these um, topics. So the first one with the engaging heart healthy communities, um, you might be aware of that fostering sustainable heart healthy behavior is a key measure towards achieving more qu high quality of life years um, and engaging wide audiences and keeping them engaged with digital interventions for heart healthiness and or physical activity is a difficult challenge. Um, and that social factors can be employed as a key mechanism for fostering this engagement. And so in this topic, we ask you to for creative context for utilizing this potential in the context of the aim of fostering heart healthy behavior change. Topic two is dealing with uh, overcoming the prevention paradox. So the prevention paradox is actually the possible success of uh, preventative measures is difficult to perceive on an individual level. Uh, so taking steps to prevent may be perceived as burdensome given the disease does not occur, occur, even though it may have occurred in the absence of these preventative measures. So in this topic, we ask for concepts uh, which address, overcome or invite reflection on this paradox for behavior change interventions, for fostering sustainable heart, healthy physical activity and other preventive measures. And as I've already mentioned, there is a more uh, general and open call, which is um, addressing augmenting the challenges in CVD with digital health tools. So um, yes, uh, it's uh, actually open innovation is about that the relevant innovation often occurs not in the minds of researchers or developers for specific application areas, but in the minds and out of the lived realities of the involved stakeholders and especially of, of patients and, and patient experts or even the wider public. So we are here uh, looking for contributions to the designated purpose of addressing challenges in the CVD domain, so long as the concepts are open to further development using open innovation in science or stakeholder engagement. So this gives you a bit more background on the topics um, we, are, uh, we set for this idea competition. Um, I will now hand over to back to Mathieu again, who will talk a bit on who are the patients. Yes, thank you. Uh, exactly. So uh, firstly, of course, I think we mentioned this quite a lot, is that the patients are a crucial element uh, of this competition, right? Um, and especially what we mean by patients is people with cardiovascular conditions. And as I already explained before in my talk, is that patients are experts on the topic because you know they are living with a medical condition and will be affected by, for example, the idea if it's being um, developed and rolled out. So this is why really integrating their experience is key. 
And of course, you should um, allow for a meaningful exchange, you know, with a respectful atmosphere and really just try to communicate on eye level, but a little bit more on how um, to integrate patients into your teams, because this is um, a very important uh, part. So uh, we will actually provide a pool of a minimum of 10 patient experts and uh, every patient expert basically uh, can support you like um, for 10 hours. Um, and of course you will get their uh, contact details so that you can team up. And we will talk about this later, but we set up a, a signal group uh, so that you can definitely also exchange information and make up the groups. And then of course, continue to organize yourselves um, however you please. Um, however, even though we do have patient experts that we provide to the teams, you feel free to involve also like your own patient experts if you know someone. So um, this is already also allowed. And maybe just the, the patient experts uh, do speak English and there's one patient expert who only speaks German. So if there is a German speaking group, then um, definitely just know that you there's also one patient expert um, who is more comfortable in German. And um, yeah, can you go to the next slide, Andy? Thank you. Um, so basically, yes, if you want to know more about uh, patient involvement, so uh, we will try to provide the recordings and slides of the relevant sessions, uh, because uh, the whole week there have been here and now talks and sessions about open innovation and about patient involvement. And uh, you can go to uh, the website as well if you want to see a list of which of the sessions are relevant. And of course, uh, once the links are there, it will be put on the website and on the Signal Messenger group. Uh, and of course, I still invite you to look at our guide for PPIE in research, where it's very exhaustive um, resource on uh, how to set up a project and what there is to consider. And so, yeah, so what do you have to uh, submit if you are taking part in the competition? So the deadline for submitting uh, is on the 15th of January, uh, like a minute before midnight. And uh, you will have to provide two deliverables. So it's not an either or option. It's really both are required. Uh, and so basically, on the first hand, a short presentation uh, of the idea concept. Plus, if you have something additional to provide, like some kind of video or a mock-up or a prototype, uh, then you should include this. And this should address the um, like how innovative your idea is, how relevant it is to the target group, and how feasible it is um, also on a time and resource scale. And the second deliverable that you have to choose uh, and that you have to submit, I'm sorry, um, are slides or a document about how patient involvement was conducted. So basically, you know, like how really um, you, uh, you met up and so how the patient really contributed to the idea that uh, you will submit. Uh, and so if you want to submit, you submit it to the email address, which is written here. Uh, I'm sure in the signal group, this will be repeated as well. And for example, if you cannot just, um, uh, if you cannot just put in the attachment the document because it's a very large video, then uh, you can just include a link into the email with the repository where the file can be downloaded. Um, yeah, thank you. And so, uh, yeah, so what happens afterwards? After submitting, so there will be a jury voting. Uh, and so it's an independent jury uh, covering like all relevant backgrounds. So there will also be uh, patients and experts and researchers um, in the jury and they will select the best three ideas and how or like based on what criteria will they do that. The ideas will be evaluated. So firstly on what I mentioned before, which is relating to the first deliverable, innovation, relevance and feasibility. So again, innovation, meaning that how a novel and original is the idea in itself. Relevant is how relevant is it to the dark target group and are there any significant benefits for them? And feasibility is so, um, because this is of course just a prototype, but if you want to follow it up, is it feasible uh, with resources and, uh, and in a timely manner? And so these three criteria together will be weighted with 50% for the evaluation and the other 50% is the patient involvement part, which will be also judged on the second deliverable that you did. So really how you involve the patients and how they contributed to the idea. And as you can see, this alone also uh, accounts for 50%. So it's a very, very important part in the evaluation. And then um, once uh, the, the teams uh, will be ranked, the best team will, we, will win like a thousand euros um, and then the second best team will win 650 euros and the third best team will win 
350 euros. And then there's also, of course, the uh, possibility to follow up your prototype uh, in the second quarter of next year. So yeah, we are transparent on the jury, of course, as well. Uh, so here you have the names of all the jury members. As already mentioned, it's a, it's a broad spectrum uh, regarding their background, uh, ranging from medical experts uh, up to digital health experts. Um, expert by experience uh, is involved here as well. So these will be the seven people um, voting on the ideas and yeah, uh, finding out the best submissions. Um, that's it on the jury and now some some closing information. So first of all, it's quite important if you want to participate in the idea competition. So please register with this link. You will find this link um, as well um, on our website. Uh, so please register as you don't have to have a team yet, but uh, you can register as an individual um, uh, at, um, participant here um, and maybe state there that you're looking for a team. Um, there will be options to, to then um, team up with others um, through other channels. Another thing already mentioned is that we have set up a signal messenger group. You can then, when you have registered to the idea competition, uh, can ask to be signed up um, uh, or let in, uh, be let in. Um, here you will find the link. And of course, we will provide the presentation and upload the presentation your, um, to, to our website or distribute it afterwards. So please sign up. Uh, to the to the content it, uh, competition itself and to the messenger group, uh, which is actually the main channel um, to to exchange and and collaborate. Um, of course, the teams are free to choose any other tools, video conferencing, uh, what what you would like to to use in the ideation, um, and and for teaming up with the patient experts. As already said, the patient experts uh, will have ten hours um, to to be involved um, per team. Um, so you are totally flexible to to arrange that with with the patient experts then uh, when you want to do that and how you want to do that. Um, that's it for registration signing up. Um, and I think that's it what we wanted to tell you. All the information will be on the website or most of that is already on the website. Um, and yeah, now we would uh, open up the floor for questions and statements before we then go on around at uh, half past one. Uh, we will then uh, close this webinar and switch over to um, uh, another Zoom meeting. Uh, may I ask the, the, the host of the session, uh, Devender, to post in, or, or Jan, maybe someone could post in the Zoom link again. Um, we will then at uh, half past one, we will launch this meeting. Um, but first of all, I will give you some background on that. But first of all, I would like to open up the floor for questions.